start working two years ago on what would be the modern trends for 2019 Christmas. The words bigger mm -hmm. are better. These are big. These are plow and hearth holiday figurines. They light up, but there's no power cord involved here, which means you can put them out on that covered porch, mm -hmm. put them inside the house by say the, the fireplace. They are brand new and they're exclusive to QVC through all of this summer season. You won't find these. These are all done in metal. That's right, this is metal. Metal and resin. Mm -hmm. These, they're, okay, they're hand painted, yes. although in this case, elf painted. <laughs> right, and Santa's helping too. This, Nancy, this is really cool. Thank you for having me. I know, Plow and Hearth did it again. But when I saw the, what I saw was I saw a little color uh, photograph. Okay. And I thought that they were, I literally thought oh, they, they were going to be about this big right. for a price tag of what we see on the screen. No, these are ginormous. These are really cool. Yeah, they're 34 inches tall. So you're getting something that is going to be that statement piece. And I love that Plow and Hearth took the idea that Santa and the elf are going to help advertise for Christmas, yeah. right? And well, there you a, see. it's a tough market lately. I know. <laughs> you got to get out there. There you see Santa helping out with that marquee sign. And the sign is made out of metal. Santa and the elf are made out of resin. So that means you're getting great detail. And you've got those lights that are lighting up. And these are battery powered, uh -huh. so you need two D batteries, but that means you can place them anywhere you want. You're not limited to where you can plug it in. So if you, like you said, if you want to put it on that covered porch, you can. If you want to put it by the Christmas tree where your plugs are already taken up and everything, you can. You can put this anywhere and you're getting all the charm and all the fun that Plow and Hearth has created with these darling signs. Uh, all of this is done by hand. Yes. It's a little metal ladder. Mm -hmm. Santa or our elf are made out of resin. Yes, exactly. And they are firmly affixed to that ladder. Then you've got your candy cane pole, which has been painted by hand, and the sign, which is painted by hand. Right. Now, you, did you pull, how'd you pull the elf off? Well, I didn't pull the elf off. I just have an extra oh, one because extra. Okay. I wanted to right. turn him around just so that you can see all the beautiful detail because he is attached to the ladder with a wing nut. So here is your adorable little elf. And I want you to see that he is beautifully done all the details in resin, hand painted as Dan mentioned. And look at those little striped leggings, adorable. And then you're going to see, here's the wing nut right under here. That's how it's going to attach to the ladder. And your assembly is super simple. It's three pieces. You have your bottom portion, which includes the ladder, yep. and then the top portion, which includes your sign, Joy or Noel. And then you're just going to set your either elf or Santa onto the ladder. And of course, you know, I think that the elf, you see he's got a black brush here. Uh -huh. I think he's changing Joy to Toy. To Toy? Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, what I like is that it's different. Yes, it you is. Know, for the pieces that we had that would light up that would be by the front door, mm -hmm. when you and I were kids, it, all it was was the little plastic candle. Right. It was about yes. all we had. Or, yes. Or that really cheap looking snowman. That was like our only options. Now you've got something that's, that's different and fun, substantial. This is one of those pieces that I can see grandchildren remembering. Oh, absolutely. Until they become grandparents. Right, exactly. This is going to become that statement piece and that tradition. Yes. So I wanted to show you Santa too, because he's also beautifully done. So here he is, like he's positioned up on the ladder itself. But look at the detail that Plow and Hearth did. From the tip of the brush right here, all those bristles on the brush coming down, the fleece around his wrist, you've got that, I think they did a beautiful job with his face. Face. I agree. Look at that. And his beard is just gorgeous. I'm going to spin him around because look at this jacket. And there he's standing, reaching, reaching because he wants to go ahead and paint and, that sign. And I like Santa. You know what? Santa's got a few pounds. Well, I don't you want have, a skinny Santa. Of course not. Okay. Nope. <laughs> yeah. You have to have a jolly, chubby Santa. And then. I love that Plow and Hearth made this a marquee sign so that you've got those lights that are lighting up just saying that this is the season of joy, this is Noel, and you've got those beautiful globe lights built right in. You don't have to put them in. They're already there. Yeah. Uh, this is just sheer fun. This is what it is. Plow and Hearth, for so many people, they knew Plow and Hearth because you and I do a lot of you know, presenting garden. together mm -hmm. during the summer. Yes. During the gardening season. Uh, what they do for Christmas that's, I think, where they really shine. Right.
because these are artisans. This is a, a, a village, a community of artisans that express themselves with emotion. Yes. And that's what Christmas is all about. We all become little kids and we all reminisce about simpler times and this brings that all to life. It really does. It's just so, so fun. Like, look at that joy. I love that it's made out of the marquee sign because it's not sparkling, it's not twinkling, it's just yeah. beautifully done and Noel. So it really shows up <laughs> against that white paint that you've got the letters in. But how cute is it that both Santa and the elf are up there on the ladder wanting to help out and kind of, you know, do a little bit extra. I'm gonna turn around the elf right here because I want you to see the battery boxes on the back. This this is on a timer because Which it's a not, battery. So, but that's nice. You you set yep. it once, you walk away. Exactly. And so it, there's. I'm joins sorry. you every no joins you every every night. Exactly. So there is a door back here, and you're going to be able to just lift up that latch, and then inside is that's the cool. box. Now this is upside down because that's just the way it's hanging. But there, press it once for timer, twice just to have it on, and then turn it off the third time. 2D batteries go in there, and that's it. It's very simple. And then you just choose where you want to have it. And Dan, we have one over by the Christmas tree. Would you like to take a walk yeah, and kind just, of show how cute it is by the tree? There's something wonderfully old fashioned. Yep, we'll go over about here. This. Yeah, it is. You're right. It's kind of nostalgic. And yeah. as you said, it creates a tradition, and Plow and Hearth is so good at that. It giving you those things that you're going to bring out for your kids, you're going to bring out for the grandkids, and every year they're going to remember, Mom, Dad, where are we going to put the elf on the ladder? Uh -huh. Where are we going to put Santa? So here he is, and you can see that this is really good height. It's about 34 inches tall. Every, every once in a while, you have to splurge just a little bit to, to get that statement piece in your decorating. Uh, we're under $100 on this, which I thought was really impressive when you consider that these are handmade, handcrafted of metal. The sculptures, which are your Santa or your little elf, are poly resin, but those are hand painted as yes. well. $88.92 I think is extremely reasonable. Now, here's the best part about Christmas in July. You're doing it six months in advance. Right. With, with a Q card, we've got four payments on EasyPay with any credit card of $22 and change. If you've got your Q card this weekend, you can have six payments. That's nice. That's $14 and change. Now, by the way, if you don't have a Q card, we're offering today an opportunity, if you talk to our operators, you apply and you are accepted, that on that first purchase of $25 or more, you will then receive a QVC credit for $20. Very nice. That's like free money. Now, by the way, it takes a day or two for that credit to appear in your account, but then you get to go shopping on us. Very and you're fun. gonna find a lot of stuff in Christmas and July this weekend that's under $20. Well, I just think that Plow and Hearth did such a great job. They're the ones that give you those items that are unique, that are different. You're not going to find typically at your stores right. around the corner, but also helping you to create that tradition in your home, giving you family time, something that you're going to talk about. So put yeah. this out near the Christmas tree, put it in your entry hall, or maybe you put it on your front porch and then you all sit down and you just kind of look at it. Maybe you read a story about Santa when you put your Santa out, or maybe there's a story about elves and you all sit it around together and you let the kids choose where they want to put it and that's what makes this so fun but because this is plow and hearth quality you know you're going to have it year after year after year uh what i respect is again metal construction right not plastic you know you and i grew up in the age of plastic christmas right uh fiber optic plastic christmas right <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see that craftsmen are doing this type of work again that's well done Nancy, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Dan. Thanks uh, for having again, me. You know, it's not the least expensive item in the show, but I think it's worth